Hi there Taurus, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to your reading back with me again, NSF from the Inner Stereo. So this is one of your love general messages. The format is going to be you versus them. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today, your challenges, past, present, and future from both parties, and advice by the end of the session. Okay, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so the roles might, might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you at all. If this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link on the description box below for a personal reading with me, and don't forget to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, okay? First do it. Taurus. Wow, that's a lot. Very interesting. Okay, so Taurus, you might be sitting with a Capricorn or you might be sitting with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's as far as I can see right now, okay? But the persons in which we're going to be talking about today, you know, this person now has gained some sort of like a wisdom. I do feel that right now they are getting away from a period where there is like a lot of con uh, confusions, where there's like a lot of assumptions, where there's like a lot of accus accusations, or where there's like a lot of insecurities, and they finally come to terms with how they truly feel, okay? And I think you've known this all along, that this person deep within them, there is someone here who is extra loving. And I do feel that right now you're dealing with somebody here who is extra lovey-dovey with you because they feel that the companionship and also the connections between you and them is something that they cannot replace with anything else. Else, okay they feel that you guys have been their best friend they feel that you guys you know with you guys they can talk about anything there's this sense of like them really really um, embracing and cherishing the friendship aspect of the connections or the companionship aspect of the connections now your challenges here towards has a lot to do with you I feel that there is some problems or something, you know, either within this connections or within your life that has not been fully solved 100%. And instead of confronting the issue right in its face, what you do is you basically, you know, walk around it. Okay, I think you're trying to kind of like ignore or withdraw yourself from something like a confrontation or an argument or a conversation that needs to happen, but it hasn't happened yet. And because it hasn't happened yet, I don't feel that you guys have like a solid something that you could hold on to within this connection as of now. Okay, so in the past, Taurus, let's talk about the past. In the past, well, you were interested with this person. There's like a lot of physical attraction that is going on from both sides, okay? When they were um, showering you with like a lot of validations and when they were showering you with like a lot of affections and love, you feel on top of the world. You feel that this person kind of like validated your self-esteem and you feel like you're beautiful or you're handsome, you know, something like that. You feel that type of way. However, this person feels the same way. I think in the past, this person tried to understand you. This person tried to be... Um, as much of a person that you need them to be this person was willing to um, do something towards you but I don't know for some reasons you know they kind of like resent that too they kind of like resent the fact that in the past they need to be the one that do something in regards to you But I feel that that energy about resentment or resenting the fact that they have to do something towards you here has already disappeared in the now because I do feel that right now what this person is basically trying to do is this person trying to gain like a better understanding of yourself. And again, as I was saying earlier, the more moment that they... Um, spend on themselves, the more that they reflect on this connections, the more that they are realizing that, oh wow, like 
I was seeing things in the past in the lenses of my own lenses, you know what I mean? In, in the lenses of either my own insecurities or something that I'm projecting, something like that. And now when all of that illusion and when all of that confusion disappeared, they started to become much more grounded. That's why I said in the beginning, something happened here within themselves that, or something happened behind the scene that kind of like made them realize that, no, what I saw in the past or what I did in the past towards Taurus was because of my own thing, not because what Taurus was doing, okay? And I think whatever it is that they were projecting onto you in the past, it kind of like made you, you know, emotionally walked away from it because you couldn't handle it anymore, even though, you know, you also in the same energy as them in which you guys are very, very keen on the companionship, on the friendship aspect of the connection, okay? So let's see what's going on in the future before I clarify that Queen of Cups. Remember when I said that there's something here that needs to be discussed, but you kind of like danced around it, right? I think it will have its repercussions in the future in your energy instead of theirs, okay? Because I do feel that in the future, you guys are much more in the energy of like a stop and go. Um, I'm getting impatient with this, you know, when will this person get over it and when will this person, you know, um, behave outside of their habits or their patterns that I don't like from that person. So you'd be like, no, I don't want to think about it. I'm losing my patience. I'm losing my shit here. But then there's also some times here where you kind of like wants to go after that person. So you, you will have that flip flopping type of energy coming from you. And that is the repercussions of you not really fully discussing what needs to be discussed. Okay. When we're talking about the world card, it means that there is a problem in this relationship that you haven't fully concluded on. You know, when you're in a relationship and, and, and there's a problem here, there's this big elephant in the room, but yet you have, but yet it's never been fully addressed. And what it's doing is it's basically making ourselves uneasy to approach someone or making ourselves look into the eyes of the other person through our lenses of like, why can't you read my mind? Why, you know, you know, well, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, so I think this is what you feel in the future. And in, in the future, this person will try, you know. They will try. I see that. Even in the now, they are trying. In the future, they will even more try. They try even harder to get away from those habitual patterns or those unhealthy patterns that they have been exuding in this connection. And they're trying as much as they could to nurture, to build, to nourish this relationship. But again... Something here is not being solved, and that is hurting this connection. So let's see. I want to clarify that Queen of Cups in the upright position first from their side. In the now, Page of Pentacles, <clears throat> High Priestess, and also the Knight of Cups. Let's see from your side, the Seven of Pentacles there. I think you're kind of like quite waiting, okay, because you feel that the ball is in their court right now, right? I'm clarifying the now, the present moment. So I feel that you guys are feeling that the ball is in their court right now. And even though you carry like a lot of love towards them, I feel that you do not want to do something or you don't want to initiate something within these connections. That even though it's hurting you, but you don't want to because you feel that the ball is in the other person's court. Now, in the now, this person is kind of like quite eyeing you. I think it's either you've given them like a silent treatment or you've been blocking them or you've been kind of like acting quite withdrawn towards them, whatever that may be. And they're realizing that, okay? They're realizing that you guys are behaving this type of way and they're eyeing you. And I do feel that in the now. So again, if it hasn't happened already, it's probably going to happen like really, really soon. The fact that this person is going to come to you with an offer, not a cups as an emotional gestures that they're doing to you. So it's either you're going to get an apology or you're going to get like a little bit of a sweet gesture gestures or an emotional gestures from them because they want to be engaging in an emotional conversation with you guys okay now let's clarify that seven of cups in reverse
And I think some one of the reason why they're doing or they're going to be doing what they're doing here is because they're afraid that they're going to be losing you. Okay. I feel that you are dealing with somebody here who has like a lot of, who has like a high level of possessiveness with you. You're theirs kind of thing. So let's see that eight of cups from your side. You, on the other hand, I think before they do something, I think you were walking towards closure. You were already trying to conclude things on your own so that you could free yourself from the shackle or from the shadow of disconnections once and for all. But sadly, <laughs> either fortunately or unfortunately for you, when you are feeding into that energy of giving a closure towards yourself is a moment where this person is then suddenly going to come back around here. Let's see the devil card in reverse from their side. Yeah, there's going to be like a little bit of a, it's, it's, it's not just an apology, but there's going to be like an accountability. I think there was a mistake about how they see you in the past. Something about how they saw you in the past and they were wrong about it. So in the future, I see them actually communicating with you about it. And they also see you as like, they would also tell you that you're actually my wish fulfillment. You're actually something that I want. And I want to be much more practical. I want to be much more grounded here. And I'm trying as much as I could to not repeat the unhealthy or unhabitual patterns that I was exhibiting in the past. So let's see the seven here. The strength card and the four, the strength card in reverse and the four swords and upright position from your side. This is so funny because I kind of relate to the situations. It's kind of like what happened to me about a week or two weeks before this, okay? Is when we're trying to not is when we're trying to look pretty but deep down inside we feel frustrations you know what i mean so um in the future i feel that you guys are going to be the energy of like yeah motherfucker you were wrong that's true like you kind of like wants to instigate something you kind of like wants to be prolonging like when they come to you and said they were wrong and you kind of like want to prolong that but you're keeping yourself not to do it because you're trying to look pretty or you're trying to look like dignified you know what i mean even though you're pissed on the inside but you're kind of like playing cool playing very very chill <laughs> swear this just happened to me let's see the empress in a preposition So I feel that in the future, because there's so much uncertainty, and again, as I was saying earlier, right, like there's something here that you really want to talk about with them, right? Either a clarity you want to be gaining, something, just something. And because it hasn't been communicated, you feel that it's too much of a mystery, it's too much of a anxious, loving feeling for someone to a point that I do feel that you guys are not willing to participate. You guys are not willing to engage. You guys are not willing to collaborate. You guys are not willing to work together on this. And you're just still on the maybe. Now, this person in the future is going to be playing a bit of a victim. They'd be saying like, okay, you know what? I've tried. I've come to you. For some of you, they might left behind a either a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Libra or a Fire Sun person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for you. And you guys are going to be rejecting them. But I feel that, you know, in the future, this person is going to be like, look, I've, I've made that giant leap of faith. I've acknowledged that I was wrong. I've taken accountability of my actions and you're rejecting me. So, but you're still not sure in the future. Interesting. So let's see the advice for you guys, um, Taurus.
and especially with the queen of wands it's more about the energy of like look i'm trying to make it happen here i'm trying to work with you here but you're rejecting me you don't want to do it so if you guys are dealing with someone who is a bit dramatic or someone who is a bit like um like to play the victim they'd be saying like uh yeah you know some victimy stuff let's see um the advice for taurus please The world card magician and also the page of wands a lot of a lot of signs actually have had this page of wands i forgot who it, who it was was it aquarius too yeah page of wands but anyway this is the after tarot deck so it's going to be very different from the traditional right away tarot now the world card magician and also the page of wands here's the thing honey whatever it is that you want to communicate whatever it is i i just feel that there's something here within you like a bottle up emotions a bottle up truth something that you want to scream and shout towards this person correct and I think it's time for you guys to really, really say it out loud towards this person. I don't care if you want to work on this relationship or not, because once you do that, you would feel lighter here. You would feel that everywhere you go, you don't have to carry around that emotional baggage anymore. Even if you end up being in a new relationship, you guys would not getting traumatized and punishing the new person for what your past person has done to you you know what i mean and this is the advice from the universe like the world card again the world card was your challenge here try to finish it try to empty your emotional tank try to blurt out your truth try to communicate about it no matter how much strong it comes out, you know, even if you want to shout with that to that person, even if you want to do something about to this person, it doesn't matter. At least it comes out so that you could either walk away to a better future with this person or to a brand new person. But at least you're not carrying any emotional baggage again. So you would feel lighter on the inside. Okay. So I think that is it for my reading for you, Taurus. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity you've been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.